who would want uh, this product and, uh, and why? Okay, I'll tell you, originally when we designed the solution, we thought it was going to be a very small market, more geared toward oil exploration, gas exploration, militaries. Uh, we're also finding people using these for temporary space. If they need to build a new data center, they can put one of these in temporarily and extend the raised floor space for whatever amount of time they need. Uh, also disaster recovery. Uh, we had a, a client uh, in Denmark who actually had a fire in their data center and could not operate anymore. We actually supplied a container and they were actually able to continue running. We just moved the IT equipment into the container and they continued to run and keep their business operating. What you need when you put a container in is three different interfaces you would need. One is just raw electric power, which we bring in, a water source, very minimal water for the humidifier, and then basically your network connection. And your network connection is going to be a communication to the outside world. So those three things that you bring into a container, that's all we need. So we can install anywhere in the world as long as we have those three sources. We've actually had some clients who didn't have electric power available, so we're using engine generators. Though it's not a practical solution because you're constantly running your generator 7x24, but it can be done. So there's different ways we can do it. But those three sources, that's all you need to be able to install and run your, your total solution. Uh, the typical design has a PUE of about 1.3. Now if you compare that to a, a, a regular data center today, most of the data centers we see, and we do studies on many, many data centers, they average a PUE of about 2.5 to 2.7. So this being 1.3 is much, much more efficient than what you'll find. And the reason we can do that is it's a very close environment, temperature is easy to control, and we have different cooling options to meet those stringent energy efficient needs.